I like anything with a motor, dirt bikes, four wheelers, fast cars, big trucks. Jerson does anything from heavy highways to parking lots to uh, jobs where they're putting up buildings and we do lots around it, um, subdivisions. We do a little bit of everything that has to do with construction. It's really important to have ambition, drive. Someone shouldn't have to tell you to want to learn something. Um, just go out and experience it. And that's how I learned, by making mistakes. The ones that, that, as soon as they hit the boots on the ground, they're ready to go, they're ready to learn, they're ready to pick up new stuff, they're ready to advance in what they do. That's, you know, that's the people we look for every single day. There was two friends that I still talk to to this day that were in the Great Oaks program with me, and we had similar skill levels, and we kind of competed and bounced ideas off each other's head, and, and we just learned together. My job is to coordinate with all the superintendents and foremen throughout all the jobs in the uh, State Department. If they need people, if they need equipment, I try to provide all that and make sure everybody's got what they need when they need it. The equipment that I learned how to operate at Great Oaks was a dozer, excavator, skid steer, wheel loader, compactor. Those are the majority of what's going to get you started out there. As an operator, there is opportunity to move up through the company by putting in the time and willing to go the extra mile. There's always room for an operator to move all the way up to a superintendent or a foreman out of the operator field and actually running a job. Some of our biggest jobs we've done are on I-75 in front of GE. That's a $100 million job. We actually just completed the Portsmouth Bypass down in uh, Portsmouth, Ohio. That's actually the biggest let bid ever in the state of Ohio. We learned safety of the equipment. It's getting out there, it's doing it, it's hands-on. Basically between five years ago till the next five years from now, there's a gap of, of you know, laborers and operators, um, supervision, everything that, that is hitting that 30, 40 year mark, some are almost 50, um, that will be going out. So that opens up a lot of opportunities, not just for the guy coming in, it, it, you know, it's the guy that's right above him moves up, then that guy has an opportunity to move up. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of opportunity, and that, again, goes back to that attitude, willing and wanting and, you know, giving it your all. When you get there, that, that locks you into trying to move up in one of those opportunities. Great Oaks made the financial support a breeze. I graduated a year ago from Great Oaks. Um, I own a house. I have an eight-month daughter, and she is absolutely spoiled. My long-term goal is to own my own business, but my short-term goal is to run a crew and learn how to keep production going efficiently. Five years from now, I drive back down a road and I know where I was at. I was a part of this, I was part of that. You know, you make a good living doing it and they're always gonna be doing it until we make flying cars. I love what I do. I love getting up and going to work and at the end of the day, I can look back and know that I did something for the community. You have to be willing and wanting to work to do what we do.